He has passed on a tough challenge to his successor. Even as the new finance minister gets ready to present the blueprint of the Indian economy, his biggest challenge is to manage the expenditure. As for the interim budget, India has a high two and a half lakh crore subsidy burden that the government has to deal with in this financial year. Of that, a whopping one and a half lakh crore is just your food subsidy bill. Add to that a fertilizer subsidy of 68,000 crore rupees and fuel subsidy of 63,000 crore rupees. The finance minister now has to bring down this subsidy burden and manage the fiscal deficit. With the finance minister having to deal with reducing the fiscal deficit, there is a role over uh, 35,000 crores of fertilizer subsidy burden along with 30,000 crores of fuel subsidy burden that has to be adjusted in this budget as a rollover from what was announced in the interim budget. In fact, with the Iraq prices on, the challenge to maintain the food prices is even more as the international food price hike has put a burden on the government's import bill. As the oil marketing companies have already hiked the petrol price earlier this month and the finance minister has sent a tough message for fiscal prudence. And there is a hope now that a time will come when Bold decision making will be possible. I think we have once again to make a choice. Does India need a certain amount of fiscal discipline at this time? Do we need prudence? With the social welfare schemes also taking a cut in the subsidy pie, it remains to be seen if JT will be able to stick to his promise of fiscal prudence. We are report times now.